I was looking at the newspapers yesterday and there was um, a lot of talk about Prince William's birthday and I thought, oh, when's his birthday? He's 40. He's turning... He's the same age as you. A couple of months older, yeah? Look, all right. For the sake of eight weeks, call me a liar. Right. No, he's just clarifying. I'm not quite there So age-sensitive. You know what happened the last time I questioned I know. your age? <laughs> She gets very sensitive. Um, but anyway, this is about Prince William. And uh, he, in the summer, I think it's Robert Jobson, um, is with us now, the uh, royal commentator and the author of this book, yeah. uh, William at 40, The Making of a Modern Monarch. Um, Robert, the birthday is... June, oh, a little, well, yeah, well, a little way off, June, June, that's right, yeah. so about six weeks away yeah. yet, yeah, so he's not quite 40. You see, but, um, I, I, is... I look at this, this lad and... Um, I, I think he's a credit. I think he's amazing in many ways. Mm. But I used to think that about Harry as well. Mm. What is the difference? Where is the schism? What was the divide? What what turned them into polar opposites in a way? Well, I think, you know, the, the fact is that I think William has grown into the understanding that his role is going to be the king. At some stage, he is going to have to carry the weight on his shoulders. And that seemed... So for a long time, he used to say to his mother, you know, I don't really want to do this, I don't want to be a policeman and things like that. And William said, well, and Harry used to say, well, I'll do it, I'll be the king. Yeah. But the fact was, of course, you grow into the role that the expectation is on him. And uh, I think really ever since he... Uh, he left the military. I think he's been very much focused on what is ahead of him, particularly in the last couple of years. With, and, and particularly... With, with the, Harry, with, with, with Mexit and everything yeah, that's and gone on. You can see that on his face, I think. Do you agree? With all, I don't know if it's to do with losing his brother or the weight of the responsibility or the fact he's got three children he's exhausted, but he looks to me like he looks a bit more worried. Sort of a worried... I'm a bit worried. I mean, I was on the trip to Caribbean with him and, he, I mean, I think what you see is... In, there's obviously, in certain situations, you've got to have a... You know, you're at the cenotaph. You can't go there and beaming smile. So I think, I think it's a serious role and uh, he's, he's grown into that role. I think that he's not... I mean, he's, you know, he's quite, quite you know, a laugh, really, off, off camera and he's, he's quite... A amusing chap, you know, when, when he when he wants to be. But I think he's realised he's got this role ahead of him. And also with the, the Queen at 96 uh, and Prince Charles at nearly 74, that he knows the, the, it's his time pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, well, you say that. I mean, Charles could go on to his mid-90s and, um, you know, that, could, and that could make William Let's 60. Does. Um, <laughs> but you can see he's learning, he's serving that apprenticeship. He's probably ready to go. Um, uh, as they would say, what do they say, oven ready um, uh, at the minute. <laughs> but how, how much do you think, how serious is this divide between him and Harry? How much has this hurt him? Well, sadly a lot. I mean, I think it's, it's quite serious because some of the allegations that went on and, and claims that were really not counted on the Oprah show, which were pretty appalling, but the fact, journalistically, they weren't counted when he was making these claims. I think some of them were very poor and they've caused a major problem with the royal family in terms of its image in America. I think some of the issues that, uh, you know, racism being brought up and sort of thrown around, I mean, it, it, Prince Charles didn't react to it, nor did the Queen publicly, but the only one who did was William when he said we're not a racist family. So, you know, it's her, yeah, and I think there's been the problems with issues being banded around about their wives as well. That hasn't helped either. Speaking of wives, yes. um, obviously he made her wait, weighty Katie, uh, before he put a ring on her finger, but what a credit she Great has lady. been to yeah. him. And um, whilst I described him as looking sometimes like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, she just looks effortless. How much of, a, of her saving you know, saviour has she been to him? Well, I, I think she's a tremendous lady. I mean, I think, and also the, the family, I credit to him, but when she's on, on the trips, uh, which we recently did the Caribbean, which got a lot of negative mm. publicity, I think it was t uh, probably a little bit misguided, but she was terrific, and she it's a great counterbalance to him, and as a team, the, I think they really look the part. I mean, you know, and also I think that, you know, when he, he was... When they, they got off the plane, the, the Voyager, and he's in his sort of power blue suit, she sort of... They look very much like they're, as you say, oven ready. They could easily be the king and queen yeah, yeah. now. Um, but I think that coming forward, you know, they, they will be when the Prince of Wales becomes king. He'll set into that more patriarchal role, and these two will be the stars. You know, the, the Prince and Princess of Wales is what they will be. Do you, are you aware of any plan that would be when Charles ascends? Um, that he and Camilla would would delegate uh, perhaps more to William and Catherine. Well, the Prince of Wales, as we all know, is pretty much a workaholic, so I don't think he'll be doing an awful lot of delegation. I think we've seen with the Queen in the 90s a lot more 
delegation to the Prince of Wales. But he's a very active, very fit man, so I don't think that's going to happen. I think that what we'll see is them being the, up front as the main faces of, of the monarchy in terms of being the Prince and Princess of Wales. They'll be travelling the world. They'll be the ones on the front covers of the magazines. But I think that, really, they are a, a, a great couple. They, they complement each other. They do great business for Great Britain PLC, and I think that it's good times here. This whole book, you give a history of the making of this man, the making of a modern mm. monarch to call. What would you say to our viewers and listeners as to the monarch they will get? What sort of man is he? What sort of king will he make? Well, I don't think he'll be the same in any way like, as, as the Queen. I think he's a traditionalist, but not he's a, he's a modern thinking person. I think that he's somebody who is, is essentially a very kind person and somebody that I think will care deeply about the, the people that he is um, serving. But he's not somebody who I think will be hung up on the issues of, of say, we've got to maintain the monarchy in, in the realms all around the world. I think he'll be focused on bigger issues than that, which are saving the planet, which is what is involved with, with the Earthshot Prize, that is a very, I think, forward-thinking plan to try to come up with solutions to help save our planet. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.